What's up guys? In this lesson, we're going to be doing full pitch adjustments again, but this time we're going to be using two different songs with the same BPM. So I have two house tracks on here. I still have Scary Fox on this side, but on this side, I believe I have Francis Durrell's Raka. So you can see that right here in the software. They are both 128, which you can see right here as well. And if you're using regular CDs, or whatever, just make sure you're having two different tracks with the same BPM. Doesn't have to be house. However, like I said, house is easier to learn to beat match with because it has that consistent bass kick. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again by covering the screens and covering everything only because even though they're two different songs, they're the same BPM, so we'll be still be able to tell by cheating. So I have my papers here. So I'm just gonna cover this and this. If you have the computer in front of you, cover that. And so this time, uh, I'm going to do this again, and I'm not gonna look. Not looking, not looking, not looking. Okay. Did you look? I didn't look. Did you look? Don't look. Okay, so there it is. I don't know where it is. You don't know where it is. No one knows where it is. And now we're going to beat match this one to this one. So the first thing is we have to listen to the track. You may have heard this track earlier in some previous courses and also maybe in this course, I don't know if I used it, I can't remember, but uh, so you may be familiar with it, but let's just listen and see if it sounds fast or slow. Because remember this is 128, so we can listen to this. So even if we don't know this song and this is the first time we've listened to it, we can tell if it's playing slower than that. So let's listen. Okay, it sounds a lot slower, okay? Uh, not like all the way down, but it does sound uh, slower than this one. So now we already know that this one is playing slower than this one. So you do the same thing, you kind of assess. If you're in a live situation, you will know because you'll see the BPM and stuff like that, uh, but you won't be able to stop and, and change anything with this track because it'll playing out, be playing out live, but you'll still be able to assess with this one. So right when I put it on, I'm not gonna start at the zero point, I'm just gonna slow it down just a little. So maybe like a couple BPMs. And let's just try it. So I got this and now this track isn't looped, okay? Uh, because I want this time, it would be more like a live situation where you wouldn't be mixing to a loop, you'd be mixing to a song that's changing. So we may have to latch on to some other sounds, okay? And so these are some of the sounds that are gonna be coming in just so you can be prepared. You got a bass line, stuff like that. And we got that uh, kick drum and then that shuffly kind of snare, okay? So starting this, I'm gonna get this queued up. and drop it, assess. Playing way faster. I'm not gonna waste my time, because this is a quicker version. I'm just gonna slow it down a little more and try again. Still sounds way faster, gonna slow it down. Now, from here on out, I'm gonna drop it and do the pitch at the same time with my manual adjustments. And remember, you don't have to do it on the main one. You can do it on any one, just for the beat matching process. Okay, there, I could tell. That just made it better. Okay, so I'm gonna change the pitch as I'm doing the manual adjustments. It's really close now. So we got it really close just with those previous ones. Sounds like it's on. So now let's see how long it stays on. Oh, so this one just broke down. So in the case of this one, we can start it over. Okay, but you don't wanna start this one over because this is the one that's playing live. Manual adjustments first. I noticed it was slightly off. I made the right move first. If I had made the wrong move, I would do the opposite. But if I find myself having to keep going back and slowing it down, 
because I may have dropped it slightly off and then fix it with my manual adjustment and then it might stay on because I dropped it slightly off. So you want to assess that too. You don't want to assume that even if you dropped it slightly off that it, then the pitch needs to be adjusted, okay? So that's also something really important to remember. But I think it's on, okay? This one just broke down again. But this one did too, okay? So these have a synth and this has a synth and now I'm kind of matching up the synths together. So now I'm just gonna do it as I do my adjustments. Just made a tiny slowdown adjustment. And if this is confusing for you and you're like, screw this, I can't deal with synths. <laughs> uh, I just want a kick to match up with whatever's going on over here, just start it over again. But it's got a consistent tempo. Okay, so I can match this kick with that pattern. And then I'm just gonna listen to see how long it stays on for. Because it sounds like it's beat match. It sounds like we're like so close. So this is going, the synth is doing the same pattern as the kick drum here. So I'm, that's what I'm listening for now. It's getting slightly off. I have to make an adjustment. That may have made it worse. But now it's at a hairy part where this broke down. I'm gonna wanna start this over again and wait till this drops because the builds get chaotic. Okay, now I'm listening. It sounds like it's like this. You know, just slipped, shifted slightly. That made it worse. Now I know where to go. That's right on, it just needs a slight little shift here to lock it in place. This broke down again, but I'm hearing these synths now. Sounds on with that. So you hear how I'm, or you see how I'm latching on to different sounds, okay? So I think it's beat match. I'm gonna check it just one more time. So first, I adjust for my drop, okay? Gotta manually adjust to make sure it's on. And then I assess if it's gonna drift. If it drifts, then I go to the pitch but I don't think it's drifting. I think we got it pretty much dead on. Okay, so let's check it. So there we have this pitch, it's around there. Remember these are the same BPM, so these pitches should be in the same place, these tempo sliders. So it's right there, like two thirds down, and this is like two thirds down. So let's check the percentage here. And that was dead on, so we were right. We got 6.15% here and 6.15% here. And the only times in which these percentages will be lining up is when the tracks are the same BPM. So don't always rely on that if they're different BPMs. But because they're the same BPM, we know that it's exactly on. And then if we look in the software right here, 119.4 and 119.4. So there we go. We just beat matched it. It was a little bit quicker because we did some bigger adjustments right from the get go. And then we just went as, as we were adjusting it, we adjusted the pitch at the same time. So I want you to practice that, practice on both sides and practice with a bunch of different tracks that are the same BPM. So you're not always practicing with the same two. If you are having an issue with the song continuing, uh, loop one song first and try two different songs that are maybe looped and then go on to letting it play all the way through. But get really good at that. And then once you practice that a ton of times on both sides, go on to the next video.